TGIF, hello classy people, Wayne Bolden, always good to see you and hear from you as always. I'm doing swell as sculpturing outside on the Jersey Shore. We're going to take a look at a stake race up at uh, Saratoga this Saturday. Great races up there as always all summer long. Please turn your closed captions on and of course our, speed, our tip sheets are available uh, for any track in North America, great way to support us. We ask for your support as always so we can stay on the air. And also buying the Speed King of Coffee. The uh, link is below down in the description or on the home page. You'll see a cup of coffee. Great way. We take all the money we pour it back into our channel. Why? The passion of love. We do this for entertainment. We do it for uh, fun because uh, that's what racing should be in our opinion. And um, there's more, a lot of more serious things in the world than horse racing. So we do it, but we do it, uh, we take it serious in terms of our handicap and, and wagering for sure. So please remember to support your Speed King. Love to do it. Well, the very first stake race uh, on Saturday up at Saratoga, it's race number five. For four-year-olds and up that has not won a graded race for 135,000, they're going a mile and 16 on the turf. It's the facet tipped in lure stakes, okay, a field of eight. We're going to go through our top three or four uh, picks for the sake of time. It is Friday. We want to get the, the, the picks out, and uh, we'll go from there. And I would be remiss if I didn't take the speed. No, Speed King, you love speed. I do. You can't teach it. Some people have it, some people don't. And in this here, uh, uh, tipped in lure stakes, uh, the number eight horse, some like it hot brown. Very, very nice horse by Big Brown. It's money making Mike. Yes, right. Mike makers making plenty of money. Some like it hot brown. It's five to two on the morning line. He is the eight horse. And he has eight wins from 25 starts. That's about a third of wins, six seconds and four thirds for $1.2 million. The horse is by Big Brown on the back end by Tappet. The horse needs no introduction. Last ran on July 9th, 28 days ago at Indy. Ran in an overnight stake race, uh, Jonathan uh, a Memorial Stakes. And ran third by one, earned a beautiful speed figure. Today he gets the services of Irad Ortiz for Mike Maker in this spot. And looks like the clear speed to me in this model in 16. Should be able to get out, get over from the eight hole, relax, and then take off. Horse should be very, very tough on the front end for sure. He will be our top pick in here. And our second horse, we have a real big weakness for the number four, Duke of Hazard. Right? I love that movie, of course. Five wins from 30 starts. This six-year-old, trained by the one and only Wesley Ward. That's right. And it's the other Ortiz brothers in the yard, Jose. This horse ran really, really well. Ran behind uh, some like it hot brown in that uh, stake race over there July 9th at Indiana. But the horse should be able to sit, 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 and then maybe get the first jump on the speed in front of them, some like it hot brown, and maybe smoke the rest of the field. So I like the number four horse in this spot. I think the thing that I really enjoy the most about the four in this spot is that he's six to one and he offers value. I said it once, I said it again. This game is about value, right? And you got to build it in there if you're going to be betting your hard-earned money. So we think the number four horse has a great shot to win this race. We like the number four uh, Dukes of Hazard, and some like it hot brown equally in this spot. The four eight eight four for us for sure. Our third pick, if we had to go ahead and put one underneath, it's almost impossible in these turf races not to include Chad Brown in any of our races, right? Chad Brown has a number one public sector who has every opportunity to be running late down the lane. Got Flavian Pratt in the yard. Public sector is a nice horse, has never done anything wrong, of course, like most of Chad Brown horses haven't. The horse has won five of 13 starts, three seconds and two thirds, okay? It's almost $700,000. So again, the horse is bred impeccably like, again, most of Chad Brown horses are. This horse is by Kingsman. So the horse has beautiful speed figures. They're right in line with my top two picks. Some like a hot brown and Duke of Hazards. And the number one horse is the favorite in this race at two to one. And he's going to be overbet because people just overbet Chad Brown horses, rightly so. Uh, his horses are always healthy. They're always 
there at the wire in some form or some facet. So again, the number one horse to me is the horse that's uh, going to be our third pick. And we can kind of be a little cute here if you want to put another horse underneath to complete the tries and the exactness to give it a little uh, flavor in terms of value because it really looks chalky like most of these stake races do. The number five horse, Dy Dyna Drive. Well, Dyna Drive is by Temple City on the back end by Rockport Harbor. What a name from the past. Mr. Morley is uh, doing the training and Eric Cunsell is in the arms. This horse ran a beautiful, beautiful race on May on July 1st at Belmont in an allowance race. Uh, was previously trained by the Dorio. Now uh, Mor uh, Morley has the horse. Ran a beautiful race for Morley last time in the allowance 36 days ago. Now stepping up into this overnight stake race. And again, I think at 20 to 1, the number 5 Diner Drive should be taken a look at. I mean, this is my long shot play in this race for sure. And I would like to see this horse hit the board, absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and call him my long shot play in here. Diner Drive should be able to get a piece underneath for sure. So for us, it's the number 8, Some Like It Hot Brown with the number 4, second pick, Duke of Hazards. And of course, Chad Brown with Public Sector. Our long shot play in the race is uh, Dyna Drive, the number five at 20 to one. I wouldn't leave this horse off of my tries or super factors. No form, no fashion at 20 to one, the number five. So for us, it's eight, four, one, five, in that order. We'll push the box button and then maybe we'll play around with the long shot just to try to create some value for sure. Everybody knows the horses that uh, could win the race. I mean, these races are always like that, right? So, I mean, we're not really uncovering anything uh, fantastic uh, in, in these races for sure. So, again, it's eight, four, one, five. We like the five as our long shot play. Please sure to use this horse underneath in your tries and supers for sure. And if the horse get real lucky, maybe you can get closer to the top three in this spot. As always, Talk to you folks real soon and have a great weekend. Stay hydrated. It is extremely hot out, folks.